the Korean government hasn't been uh, practicing what it preached about providing more support for startups and mm -hmm. smaller businesses. Too much dependence on the nation's conglomerates and a lack of sustainable support for such businesses have always been pointed out as the main problems of the Korean economic structure. That's right. But recently, Google unveiled a plan to open up a new space for entrepreneurs in Seoul called Campus Seoul, and the news has gotten many excited about future possibilities. That's right. Our, joining us today for a closer look at this topic is the CEO and co-founder of Korea-based startup Flito, Mr. Simon Lee. All right. Thank you very much for being here today. Yeah, thank you. So for our viewers who are not familiar with your uh, application mm -hmm. or your service yet, do tell us about the service. Okay, uh, Flito is a crowdsourced translation platform. You know, the translation market is growing really fast. It's valued at 40 billion US dollar. And this market is divided into two. One is auto translation market, the other one is professional translation market. Mm -hmm. So ours is like more like crowdsourced translation market. You know, there's like tons of people out there who speak more than language, just like you guys. Mm -hmm. So we bring them into our platform to participate in the translation. For example, uh, this is my application. So I can record my voice here. 안녕하세요. 아리랑 TV 시청자 여러분. 세계에서 가장 빠르고 가장 정확한 번역 서비스 플리토입니다. Oh, and then that translates right. all then, that. Right. And then I request this to those people who speak both Korean and English. And they're standing by? Well, there are like, there are like 3.5 million users around 170 different countries who are using our application. Mm -hmm. They can participate in the translation and get compensation. Oh, okay. And there I got the translation. So it goes like... Hi. The audience is a very rang TV. This is Flito, which is the fastest and the most accurate translation platform in the world. Indeed. Yeah. So this is how it works. Quite a big threat to uh, freelance translators and interpreters <laughs> out there. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> anyway, uh, Flito was actually the first Korean company right. to make it into uh, Google's uh, campus, London. Mm -hmm. So could you maybe tell us a little bit more about the experience and how was it possible for you to become the first there? So. Um, there's like two reasons why we chose uh, Campus Lander to start our business. The first one is like we're dealing with the language translation service. So we just w wanted to meet a lot of users who speak different languages. And we thought Campus Lander is the perfect place for us to be. And Campus Lander is set by Google. So mm -hmm. we thought something might be different if mm -hmm. Google set up a campus. And, you know, honestly, it was very rewarding for us. We could meet a lot of different people around the world, and they helped us with our service. They gave us a lot of feedbacks. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, there were a lot of mentors and IT specialists. Also, they gave us a lot of feedbacks. So we could uh, start our business very uh, safely in London. You know, it's more like a soft landing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you were able to perhaps practice and start your business mm -hmm. and trying to start up in Seoul as well as your experience with London. So would you say Korea has the potential to nurture mm -hmm. uh, such innovative startup companies? Right. Well, startups in Google campuses are like potential partners and customers of Google, which explains why Google makes such a huge investment on this campus. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, we can say that setting up a campus shows that the market and the entrepreneurs in that region matter to Google. Mm. As the first campus in Asia, the Seoul campus shows the innovativeness and potential of Korean startups. You know, that's what I can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a mastermind of a brilliant startup yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you could, you could share your wisdom and expertise about mm -hmm. uh, the expectations people have of Campus Seoul. And mm -hmm. based on your experience with uh, Campus London, what mm -hmm. kind of upgrades or changes they could make mm -hmm. here? Right, so uh, starting your own business is not as romantic as you think, you know. It just it feels like you're standing in the middle of Alaska tundra. It's very cold and very lonely. Mm -hmm. But if there's like some people around you, you know, you can feel the warmth. And, and you know, you got to find the green land. And there's like no one actually guide you. But if you stay in campus Google, you know, there's like you can find those people who already been to a green land. So they teach you how to get to a green land. So what I wish is like campus Seoul will also you know, help those Korean entrepreneurs to find the green land. And Google, you know, it's Google, right? It has huge network around the world. So I wish Google to help Korean entrepreneurs to find their potential partners around the world using their network. Mm -hmm. You think a Korean uh, successful models, uh, Korean CEOs would be a better mentor or perhaps a more international one would be more appropriate for the Korean uh, startups? Oh, I'm wishing both of them. Both. You know, there's like tons of Korean mentors who's very successful already. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty much sure they're going to come to Google Seoul, like Campus Seoul, to, sh to guide them to Greenland. You know, I keep on saying Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, there's like, they have huge network around the world and I'm pretty much sure they want to 
they're going to share it with the yeah, rest right. of the world. Right. I mean, always the key is to make them sustainable, the startups. And we are looking forward to your input in uh, growing and you know, fostering the future startups of mm -hmm. Korea. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, uh, Mr. You. Simon Lee, for coming into the studio today. Thank you very much.